to Own Your Power TV. I'm Coach Simone Kelly, and this show will bring you a new episode every week on Mondays where you can tune in about personal and business development topics to educate and inspire you to live the lifestyle that you deserve. Today's show was inspired by two of my favorite health nuts, uh, Zaji and Amara, who are in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. Uh, They saved a hamburger for four years. Blew me away. I cannot believe that people actually do this kind of stuff. But after doing some research, I realized that they weren't the first to do it. Um, I saw online they had people that had a hamburger from 1989, from 1993. If you go on YouTube, you'll see there's like loads of people that have done this experiment. And basically it's to show how a hamburger and french fries too will not get old, will not get any mold, will not have anything happen to it really like regular food would. And we're going to get into that after we talk to them to find out why that is. And you might not want to go to a drive through after the show. <laughs> so stay tuned and check out the four-year-old hamburger. Hey, everybody. I am here hanging out in the Poconos at one of my favorite retreat places to hang out. My friend Zaji and Amara, they have an amazing space to write, get clear and work on yourself and I just love hanging out with them. Um, They also educate me a lot on how to eat properly and sometimes I get a little nervous because I'm like I can't eat anything. So I want them to share um, what we started talking about fast food and they they gave me some tips on um, things I can share with my audience, the Own Your Power audience on why you should not be eating fast food. It sounds like a no-brainer but this science experiment they told me about uh, really woke me up a little bit even more. So tell us about the science experiment you guys had for the last few years. Well, a few years ago, I was watching a video. I told him about the video where this lady had a McDonald's hamburger and she said it was three years old. And then she took it out of a lunchbox that she had. And when I saw it, I said, oh, that chick is lying. She's not telling the truth. So I hustled off to McDonald's and I decided that I was going to test it because I know from basic biology, just as our body disintegrates when it's dead and hits the air, everything does. So that hamburger should have been water. It should have been completely dust gone. Right. Completely. Or bugs, I would think. Bugs Mold, would have eaten it. Something. Everything. Right. Mold, everything. And there was nothing on it. <clears throat> So I didn't believe her. So I went to McDonald's and I picked up a french fries and a cheeseburger. And it is now approximately three years later, actually. It's four. It's four years now? Oh, my God. It is four years later, and I just want everyone to take a look at the french fries, which from a distance, it pretty much looks like I just purchased it. The only thing that's wrong with the french fries is they're hard and the oil is pretty much dried out, oh but they're God. completely preserved. You guys yeah. heard that? Holy mackerel. Right. <laughs> and, and that shouldn't be. If you take real potatoes that are not processed, not genetically modified, right. dig it up straight out of the ground and right. leave it on your counter, it should turn... It should the pink slime is... is uh, what it is is a ammonium hydroxide. And what they do is take the meat that's unfit to eat because of the, ba- the amount of bacteria in it. Mm-hmm. And so they use the ammonium hydroxide to kill the bacteria so they can fill in the meat so they'll have more to sell to the, their customers. Mm-hmm. And this is, the ammonium hydroxide is bad in itself. And this, this, hasn't, this has been going on since the 19, early 1900s. Because oh, my before. goodness. And Upton Sinclair wrote a book called The Jungle. And in that book, the, it's a different version of the pink slime. They use borax to do the same thing. What? Which is another harsh chemical. Oh my gosh. And, and I'd like to add to that that they even recently had news articles out where McDonald's admitted to, they didn't actually admit, they pretty much said, oh, we're no longer going to put the pink slime in the meat. So that's an admit. They actually call it pink slime? Yes, they actually, that in the disgusting. article, they actually called it pink slime. <laughs> and they let everyone know that we're no longer going to put that in their meat. So if they were putting that in their meat, right. then it stands to reason why it's, it's like this. And what else was in their meat? The bottom line with this is when you die, if your body is out in 80, 90 degree weather, before a few hours goes by, you'll begin to smell. Your body begins to break down, disintegrate. In less than a couple of weeks, you will have a lot of disintegration from being out there. So if the air that will break down your body 
can't break this down, then what is it doing when it enters your body? Mm. And that's what people have to really think about when they eat this stuff. And it's the same for all the fast food places because all of them are getting their meat from the same place. Whether it's McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, they're all getting their meat from the same place. Okay. Well, I'm curious to know, what do you guys eat? <laughs> Not to say that there's, there's nothing else to eat besides fast food, but I know every time I'm around you, Zaji, you're, you're always very healthy. There's certain things you say you don't eat anything with in boxes or canned goods. So mm -hmm. what do you eat? It, Give us some tips. Just basic it, tips. If it comes in a box, can, or bag, it doesn't go in my mouth. Why? Because all of those goods have preservatives. So I'm not going to eat it. Am I perfect? No, no one is. And you can't beat yourself up if you cheat a little. But I've come to the point, we've come to the point, where we don't cheat like the average person. The average person's cheating is eating a Twinkie. Right, right. Our cheating is maybe eating a slice of bread. <laughs> right, 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 right. So it's a very different thing. Mm -hmm. And what do you and what do you think about um your diet? Like is there is it very similar? It's it's um exactly the same as hers. I would try to stay away from all I'd stay away from all processed food, as she says, but fruits and vegetables are the makeup of what we eat. The majority of what we eat. Oh wow. Absolutely. And you guys, you know, you you look pretty fit. You look pretty good. You don't look like you're withering away or anything. So no, I guess yet. there's hope for us. <laughs> In two weeks I'll be forty five. Okay. You need to get up and model a little something. <laughs> um, I'm fifty four. You're lying, right? No. You're serious? Yes. Okay, I'm, I almost dropped the camera. <laughs> <laughs> what? Man! Everybody, this is Kem's lookalike, by the way. <laughs> but, oh my, man, I'm yes. impressed. Yes. Alright, if you want to be a vampire and live forever, stay away from this crap. <laughs> Alright, we're out. Talk to you soon, guys. Well, thanks again for tuning in to Own Your Power TV. I did a little research uh, to find out that there's ammonium sulfate in it and extremely high levels of sodium, which is why they preserve for so long. And if you think about it, I mean, in years time, you know, there's the hamburger from 1989 and then there's the one that they, they had for like four years. In that time, no bacteria wants it, no rodent wants it, no cat wants it, no dog wants it. The only species that eats these things is us. And they, the only reason why that we eat is because we don't know any better and we just feed whatever advertising tells us. And obviously, it's not healthy for us because they don't decompose. So what we got to do is start to make better choices, people. I know a cheeseburger every now and then probably won't kill you every once in a, few, a blue moon, but if you do it every day, obviously, it's not a good idea. Um, but I do hope that this show enlightened you a little bit and helped you see a little bit of reality of what goes behind closed doors with... Uh, cheeseburgers, hamburgers, and fast food because we know that it's really not going to help us in the long run. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Own Your Power TV and we are so happy to have you as one of our power players. Make sure you join the network so you can officially be a member and also check out our blog and follow our blog. We're looking for some more followers and you can be informed about personal and business development articles that we're going to be posting all the time. We have a lot of featured bloggers. We have loads of content. Uh, from many years back so you can never get bored on our site so definitely definitely check us out and make sure you check out ownyourpowerlifestyle.com which is our main home website ownyourpowerlifestyle.com and um, next week we're going to have a new show called Why I'm Not Your Man and this show is dedicated to the single ladies out there who are either single or with somebody that's Mr. Wrong and you're going to find out why certain men won't commit what is their issue a lot of them don't want to communicate what the issue is or what the deal is. They don't tell us exactly what the problem is. But um, I went to, on the streets of Miami and asked a few fellas, and they didn't have any problems <laughs> telling me why they're not committing to certain women. So I think you ladies will find it entertaining and very educational. So make sure you don't miss next week's show, Why I'm Not Your Man. Until next time, Power Players, see you soon.
Bella. <laughs>